Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Hello everyone. What you are seeing now is student from Vocational High School Wali Songo Wan Gembal. And my name is Princess Abudis Lovelista. You can call me Feli. Today, I will tell legend from Italy. You know, it's very popular in there. And in Indonesia, this fairy tale is also popular. And the title is Pinocchio. La 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 la. Hello, 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 hello. My name is Pinocchio. Hello, my name is Pinocchio. I have a long nose. I have a long nose. It's because I like to lie. On upon the time in Italy, lived an old carpenter named Gibetto. He was so lonely, so he planned to craft a boy shaped puppet and name it Pinocchio. I wish you were a real boy, he said longingly. One night, a blue fairy who heard Gibetto's work greeted his wishes. So she sprinkled some magic powder on the puppet and brought Pinocchio to life. And then the fairy told him, Now you've become a living puppet, but if you want to be a real boy, you must make your father, Gibetto, proud of you. Gibetto was so happy, for his puppet now was alive. He loved Pinocchio with all of his heart. So he bought some book and sent Pinocchio to school so that he would grow to be a clever boy. But Pinocchio was disobedient. He used to skip school and play with his friend all day. When Gibetto found out his naughtiness, he was so angry. <sighs> Did you miss the school all the time? He asked, but Pinocchio didn't tell the truth. No, father, I always study in my school every day. He lied, and his woodenness began to grow low. Huh? Are you telling me a lie? Chibito asked with a puzzled frown. No, father, I'm telling the truth. He replied, and his nose was getting longer. Every time Pinocchio told a lie, his nose was getting longer and longer. Chebito had to ask his friend, the woodpecker, to pack Pinocchio's nose to normal size. Every time he did a bad thing or naughtiness, Pinocchio used to give his word that he would be a good boy next time. In a little while, Pinocchio forgot all his promises. Uh, I don't want to school. School isn't fun at all, and it's so boring. I don't want to study anymore. And I want to have some great adventure. He doubted. So he decided to leave home and join the circus. However, Pinocchio soon realized that live at circus wasn't fun at all. The poor Pinocchio must work every day. And since he had stopped going to school, the ears had become two large donkey ears. <coughs> Pinocchio regretted leaving home and missed his father trebly. Then one day, Pinocchio heard the trebly news that Chebedo had been looking for him and now he had been swallowed up by a giant whale. Instantly, Pinocchio ran away from the circus and set off to rescue his father. Eventually, Pinocchio could find the father and the child whales. As, however, as soon as the whale saw him, it swallowed him up as well. Inside of the belly, Pinocchio saw his father. Father! It's me! Pinocchio! He shouted, and they were so happy to see each other. Hmm, aha, I got an idea to get out of here. Then he began tickling the giant whale's stomach. As soon as it opened its mouth, it was going to, be, to give a big sneeze. And Pinocchio and Chebedo made their way to get out of the wheel. At the end, Pinocchio and Chebedo got home safely. The blue fairy was so happy with Pinocchio's courage. As if 
the fiery magically turned Pinocchio to real flesh and blood boy. Since that day, Pinocchio always keep his promise and never miss going to school again. And they both live happily ever after. The end. And the message that, that can taken is don't like to lie and be diligent to going to school. I think enough for us. Thank you for your attention. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Cebeto and Pinocchio says goodbye.